the launch of Nintendo Switch's online service is impending. It is coming next month, and we still have a couple of questions, even though they have provided additional details. Today, we want to talk about something that came up over on Reset Era that we found super interesting. So, user GGX. 2AC had made this thread about something that a lot of people have been asking. Things like Fortnite, Paladins, free-to-play games, will those require you to pay for the Nintendo Switch Online membership for you to be able to play them online? And with that, we're going to do just a tiny bit of research. And again, this was brought up over on Reset Era, and we just thought it was cool and interesting, and we wanted to maybe pose a question to you about what you guys think. So, let's uh, very first go look up... Splatoon, right? We're going to look at some Nintendo games and uh, see some uh, fine print that is here, right? And I kind of don't like that you put Splat and Splatoon doesn't automatically uh, come up here, but it's okay. We're gonna, we'll are gonna do a full search for Splatoon and uh, we're going to find it. We're going to go here and we're going to show you the fine print that we're talking about. When you scroll down here, right here, it does say online multiplayer requires a subscription to online service sold separately and a network connection online multiplayer will be free until the nintendo switch online service launches in 2018 now if we go over to i don't know best sellers i guess just because that's probably like the way to see some of these like easy uh right there you go best sellers okay let's see minecraft that has online let's go look at minecraft if you scroll down has the same uh, fine print here. Online multiplayer requires a subscription to online service sold separately. Cool. Let's look at Mario Kart. Also has online and, you know, we expect that for all of these things and Nintendo has said that for most of these, like, games, it's gonna require it, right? We understand that the fine print was there in case you didn't know. I'm trying- here, Rocket League. Let, let's check this because this isn't first party. I have no idea if it has a fine print, so let's see. Yes, it's right there. Online multiplayer requires a subscription. Cool. Now, Games like Fortnite, Paladin, and a few others that we're about to get into. Uh, recent releases, I guess we're going to have to search for Fortnite the same way that we have to search. God, Nintendo has to be better about this. Alright, cool. I, I had recently searched for Fortnite, so it's right there. If you go to, like, Fortnite, which is free to play. You guys know this. You can, like, buy V-Bucks and things like that. But the game's free. That warning isn't there. And, again, on recent era, people started wondering, does that mean that you're not going to need to pay for the Nintendo Online to play Fortnite? Or other free-to-play games on here because yeah that warning just isn't here now let's look at another free-to-play game we'll uh, look up paladins just because that's probably like the other big notable one that I can think of all right there we go paladins fantastic and the fine print not there either so this does have people wondering what that means there are a bunch of other games that if you look at like you're not going to see the fine print there. Uh, Pokemon is another important one since we already have the P here. It's funny, Pokemon came out, came up on, on the search thing just a minute ago. Just by putting P, but now that I'm typing Pokemon, the search doesn't know what I'm talking about. And I guess it's because it's just the P was already there. Whatever. Pokemon Quest, another free-to-play game. We go down. And sorry, there seems to be something very loud going on outside. Warning, not there. So, does this mean that... The online for Nintendo Switch, the paid online, is going to be for retail games only and free-to-play stuff is still going to stay free-to-play. There are other free-to-play games on Switch. We have Dawn of the Breakers, we have Fallout Shelter, Galaxy, uh, we have some pinball stuff, we have Kitten Squad. None of that stuff that's free-to-play has that warning. So let us know what you think. Again, it's clear that most of the retail stuff you're going to need to pay for online, and that's understandable. Uh, that's coming next month. I'm still very excited to find out more about that. I'm sure they're going to talk about it pretty soon. But there you have it. This uh, is leading to a little conspiracy theory here saying, hey... If the game's free to play, you're not going to need to pay to play it online, and that would be really cool. Let me know what you guys think. I know that for Fortnite specifically, you do need Xbox Live Gold membership. You don't need, like, PlayStation Plus. And there are other games, Warframes, coming out, so it's going to be interesting how that works. Because you can already play it on PlayStation without having a PlayStation Plus account. So I imagine that's going to be the same here. Warframe is coming to Switch very soon, probably within the next month or two. And uh, my hypothesis is that even when the paid online launches for Nintendo, you're not going to need it for things like this. So sound off in the comments below, let us know what you think, and uh, hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you are not subscribed, leave a comment below, Twitter, Discord links, both in the description, join our community of a whole bunch of people talking Nintendo and all other types of fun stuff, and we will catch you on the next video, Switch Force out.